Hello, at this video I will show you how to declare an array. So uh, at first there are two types of arrays. Okay, something called fixed length array and something called dynamic array. And I will show you the difference between them. First, for the fixed length array, what it means? It means that you can't change its dimension later. So the fixed length array. Uh, you will you will set its dimension uh, that I mean the how many elements will be <coughs> would be in this array so later you can't change each, its dimensions okay let's see uh, what are the types of the fixed length array there is something called fixed uh, one dimension array that means that that you have only one dimension okay This one dimension could be contain one element or two element or three elements or whatever it contains. Okay, and there is something also called to multi-dimensional array, like uh, for array called A. A, uh, it's two-dimension array. Okay, the first array or the first dimension it has only one element, and the second dimension it has two elements and so on for b the f uh, the first dimension has two elements and the second dimension has three elements i will show why even uh, we declared that it's one but it has two elements because the array start from index zero not from index one i, I will show you this later okay for c it's called three dimensional array because it has three dimensional array okay the first dimension uh, contains three elements and this the second contains two elements and the third contains three elements okay i will show you that in detail later but i just want to show you that there is something called one dimensional array and something called multi-dimensional array and what will we focus on we will focus on one dimensional array okay uh, it's rare that you can see someone uh, who use the two dimensional array or the three dimensional array or whatever you can um, set dimensional as uh, you as you want uh, but you can't exist the 32 dimensional so uh, let's see how we can define an array as the uh, AutoCAD VBA we can define it by this statement First, we use the uh, word dem and then the name of the array and uh, two, two braces uh, contain the upper limit of the dimension and then as and then data type like this example dem h2 as double that means that I have declared an array called the h and the h has three elements because the first element as the array has rank zero so the first index is zero and second is one and the third is two so each array contains three elements like like the previous slide so array a zero that means that index zero array one so index zero index one and so on c2 index zero equal two index one equal five and x in index three equal uh, index two equal four so this is the first option to define an array then h2 as top okay this is the first first option so the second option that i can define the array by this uh, then h1 to 2 as double then k 0 to 5 as variant so what this mean that means that i set the lower limit it can be zero it can be another number as i like so here the lim uh, lower limit is equal to one and here the lower limit equal to zero so the first first element will start from the lower element you have set so h array will start from one and the k array will start from zero so i can declare k equal to one two five as whatever I want okay how to set the elements of the array 
if I have an array from 0 to 2 as double so I how can I declare the elements of the array by this h0 equal 5 and two dots and then h equal uh, h1 equal 10 and so on so, okay so h h0 equal 0 h1 equal and so on h2 equal 200 so let's message box h1 this one so it's 100 so for k if i set k 0 equal 100 it will give me an error why because there is no index 0 in the k array so the first index will be start from 1 message box k 1 1 and so on ok for the data type of the an array I can declare a data type and insert elements that doesn't match the data type for example if I insert in an in text and I wanted to message box h0 it will give me error why because type mismatch so if i wanted to have an array with a different types of uh, data i can declare it at variant and run it will run normally okay so for the diamond dynamic array why i why i use it because for the dy dynamic array I can change it, its dimensions like if I wanted to declare dimension with unknown dimension what that means for example for h if I don't know how elements that h will contain I can declare h as an empty like them h to, to braces as double and then when I know the number of the elements I can use the read them word so read them h 10 as double of course it will not equal to 10 it will like variable what that uh, what I mean h empty okay and then there is a variable like called and from my uh, routine just I want to define h is that the number of elements of h will equal to this count how can I do this by read them read them h cnt as i don't have to type as that type because i have already defined it so i will run it will run normal <laughs> it doesn't run because i didn't define cnt how okay run it's run normally okay but what it will happen if i use them h sanity it will give me an error because them for only the static type so i use read them to change the dimensional the dimension okay what is the second use the second use if i already define h with element number but i wanted to change its uh, 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 I wanted to change its dimension uh, for uh, larger or lower what can I do I can use the redeem word okay if I if I define h as h h2 and then it change it by redeem it will not run normally okay I have to define it from first with redeem word okay to run normally okay let's see something if already h0 equal 10 h1 equal 15 h h2 equal uh, like 2 okay and then i used redem h sanity them whatever let's okay 
access and then I want to message box h0 what will appear this text or this number let's see oh the text appear but what happened when I use the redeem word it's clear all the elements of the of the um, array and then insert new elements to it but what if I wanted to I what if I wanted to perceive this old diamond with this old element I can use word called preserve okay so when I want to message box h equal zero run it will appear 10 but if if I don't if I didn't use the receive word it won't appear anything and it will it will be empty so I use the word receive to receive my elements and that's all for the arrays but what if I wanted to uh, message box of of all the elements of the array so I have to write message box h0 then a message box h1 and so on no what can I do is that I can use the for h loop for h loop uh, I will show it at the next videos I can use it uh, to iterate all the elements of the loop okay and that's all for the arrays and thank you